Hey everyone, welcome back to Loud Quiet Vids. We're here today to talk about the movies of 2021 with the Oscars coming up. I guess we should also add this is the first time we've been together since 2019. Yes. My favorite movie from last year was actually a little bit of an unconventional pick because it wasn't one that I expected to be nominated, but it was actually In the Heights. Um, I love the music. I thought the directing was beautiful. It was wonderfully shot. And it was just one of those movies that made me feel good and it almost reminded me of a classic, like It's a Wonderful Life. My favorite, saw it six months ago around then. And it's really the only movie that came out last year that I can really imagine going back to over and over again. And that's Annette. I think I made a joke on Facebook that it feels like an AI kind of just studied my viewing habits and made a movie. <laughs> <laughs> that had to entertain me and absolutely no one else because that's how it, exactly how I felt. Uh, a lot of people hate it. I don't really care. Yeah, a lot of people do hate it, but I love it. My favorite movie of the year was, maybe not surprising for some people, but it was Encanto. I'm a big Disney fan, so obviously that drew me in. But I also think it was probably one of Disney's best in definitely a few years. Um, probably my favorite since maybe Tangle, maybe? I thought the story flowed really nicely. What did we watch it? I think we watched it on Thanksgiving and we had family members talking the whole way through. <laughs> and then we had to watch it again to get the full appreciation. So you two chose two different Lin-Manuel Miranda films. Interesting. I guess that's why we're married. <laughs> yes. My least favorite movie of the year. Um, I don't know if I would say I hated it, but I'm picking it because it's, I don't think I remember one second from this film and that would be respect uh, the, um, that was this year yeah okay it felt like it was supposed to be 2020 i believe but then with the pandemic out. and everything it came out now this is a slightly better movie year i mean it's still kind of an better. asterisk year like we're still affected by covid restrictions and all that yeah but i just thought this movie should have been a lot more entertaining than it was um the story of a musical legend and you had jennifer hudson playing the lead role. So there was a lot of expectations of, of it and it just kind of um, fell flat for me. I didn't really think there was anything special about it. Um, just thought it was kind of a snooze fest, to be honest. And um, it wasn't like laughably bad, like maybe some of your guys' picks think you think are laughably bad, but it was just kind of boring, which I think is the worst kind of movie. Cause at least if it's laughably bad, you could laugh at it. Well, I wish mine was laughably bad. I mean, it was striving to be laughable at least. Uh, my least fair was Don't Look Up, <laughs> which is nominated not actually <laughs> for best picture. And I don't know, just everything that sucked about 2021 is encapsulated in that movie. I'll just leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I just want to say that I, did not pick Respect, even though I was extremely disappointed with that movie. I really went into it with high hopes because I thought Jennifer Hudson was a great casting choice for Aretha Franklin. Didn't Aretha approve of that choice too? Did she? I Before think she passing, might have. Yeah. I think she might have. So I don't really have anything against the acting. Um, it just, it didn't, I don't feel like it just did justice to Aretha Franklin and her music and, you know, disappointing. But my least favorite was House of Gucci. Um, I wanted to like that one too, because, you know, Lady Gaga, I think she's got some acting chops. She was good in A Star Is Born, in my opinion. But this movie just, it felt like a completely joke. It was supposed to be taking place in Italy and it just felt like a bunch of Americans doing impersonations of Italians. Um, Adam Driver did not bring his best to the table in and, and any... <laughs> Shape. Uh, I know a lot of people thought she was snubbed for the best actress Oscar. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue against that because I did think she did a good job. It was just, in my opinion, poorly written and it didn't give her really much to work with. I feel like she was just fighting to do something really good and she did do a good job, but it just felt laughable in the end. To be fair, opinion. she is fine. Adam Driver really, who has put on some great performances. He was um, in my favor of the year. Yeah, he was putting some great performances, but his performance is just very off because it just seemed very lazy. Like he slipped back into like an American accent to like mm -hmm. a 
I don't know, a bad Italian accent and kind of went back and forth. So it's kind of... Again, I haven't seen it. Weird. I have heard that it feels like every actor is kind of doing their own... Like, it feels like every actor is doing a different movie. Is that a good way of describing yeah, it? Kind of, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it seems like... um, What's his name? Jared Leto. Yeah, Jared Leto. It kind of seems like he thinks it's like a laugh out loud comedy. I can't afford to get serious. With your gift and your talent and your vision. Are you kidding? And Lady Gaga thinks it's like... It's gonna be the Godfather. Yeah, like in Ken Strella <laughs> and then Adam Driver kind of seems know. like he's just like a middle school actor whose mom made him try out for the play or something. He's trying his best. I don't think he is! I mean, at least I hope he's not. Marriage Story, I thought he was great. Well, he was in the, because Ridley Scott came out with two movies this year. Did you see uh, The Last Duel? No. No, I didn't see it. It's not perfect, it's very good, but Adam Driver is very good in that film. I think he's a good actor. Yeah, it's on HBO Max if you want to watch it. Okay, yeah, yeah, I don't deny his, you know, his ability. I just don't know why he didn't bring it for that role. Yeah. Could Something be miscasting. Off. Yeah. Or just the way Ridley Scott directed him. I don't Maybe. know. Maybe. All right, so we want to know what you guys think. What were your favorites from last year and what are your predictions? What are your least favorites? What shouldn't have been on here? We'll see you next time.